you are about to enter the strange world of Mr. Davis. I've had a lot of strange things happen to me over the years, but I've never really had anywhere to talk about them outside from my immediate family and friends. With that said, this might be a bit of a wordy post, and I may ramble at times, and I apologize for that. I'm not sure what to call these experiences, really. A lot of people have called them goofs or glitches in the system. To be honest, even as a science fiction fan, I don't buy into the theory that we're all part of a simulation. I won't dwell on why. Rather, I'll talk about the first experience I had. I've always referred to this one as my repeat story. I was about six years old. I know that's young, so feel free to take this with a grain of salt. My mom came into my room to get me up for school, so I got up, albeit slowly, as I hated school as a kid. As soon as my feet hit the floor, though, I was back in my bed, my mom was repeating, word for word, her little time to get up speech. I was confused, but thought maybe it was a dream, so I stepped out of bed again, only to wake up a third time and do the same thing. My mom was telling me it was time to get up. This time I didn't get up immediately. I laid there and waited to see what would happen. Eventually my mom came back and instead of giving me the whole good morning thing, she hurried me and told me that I was running late. She was a teacher at my school, so if I was late, so was she. I then got out of bed and nothing happened. It was all normal. The rest of that day was too. I'd walked there for around half the school year at this point, so it's safe to say I knew how to get home. Apparently, the world had different plans for me that day. When the bell rang, I wasted no time getting out of there. I said goodbye to all my friends and then headed off down the road toward my house. It was a straight shot if you don't count the turn into my neighborhood. Around the halfway point, I noticed that I could no longer hear the music in my headphones. I thought maybe my playlist had finished, so I pulled out my phone to look. Now, the music player I had at the time would do a little fade transition of the album art. It would also change the lock screen depending on what song was playing. At first glance, it looked like my phone had just frozen. It wasn't uncommon, so I held down the power button to shut it down, but it wouldn't turn off. Taking the battery out yielded the same result. The screen just stayed on. I said screw it put the phone back in my pocket and started walking again, deciding to take in the scenery instead. That's when it hit me that something was seriously wrong. There was a bird stuck in midair. Its wings were spread out and just... it wasn't moving. I looked around some more and jumped when I saw a car. I thought for a second it was going to hit me as it was very clearly going off the road, but it too wasn't moving. I was actually scared at this point. Confused as well, but mostly scared. That's when I started running. I ran because I just wanted to get home and be somewhere familiar. I only made it a few hundred feet before the car finished the route it was taking. Straight into the ditch where I had been standing moments before. I found out later that the guy who was driving had a blowout and lost control. I called 911 as my phone was no longer frozen, and from what I could tell, he made it out with just a broken arm. When I made it home later, I told my mom, and she explained that my mind was just remembering it wrong because it was so traumatic. I suppose I could make sense, but I just feel like there was something more there. This is the last one I'll talk about for now. If you'd like to hear more, just let me know and I'll add it later when I have some time. And this one takes place during my last year of middle school, so 8th grade here in the US. It's the only time I've ever dealt with losing time. It was late, maybe midnight, and I had been doing homework for around two hours. I know this means I started at 10, but I was an infamous procrastinator. I remember having trouble with one problem in particular. It had something to do with basic geometry, and I just could not wrap my head around it. I ended up throwing my pencil down and putting my head in my hands and letting out a huge sigh of desperation. Not seconds later, I hear my door open and my mom pokes her head in. Without thinking, I say, I know, I know, I'm going to bed, because I was expecting her to say something along the lines of, it's too late to be up, mister. But instead she said, have you been up all night? 
and that caught my attention. I looked up at her and she was dressed and ready for work, but in my mind it was still midnight. School and work weren't for a few more hours. She looked at her watch. Look, I'm about to be late. Hurry up and get ready so you can leave. Dad has already left and he can't take you. Bye, I love you. And then she just left. I looked at the clock and finally saw that I only had around 45 minutes to get ready to go to school. My mind felt hazy and my eyes were heavy. It really felt like I'd been up all night. My homework wasn't even done. I did end up going to school that day, sleeping through most of my classes. And that's the one experience that really shakes me. Thinking about it just messes with my head. Did I really just sit there and stare at that paper for the entire night? Anyway, what do you all think of my experiences? Should I be worried if something happened again? And why have I had so many? A lot of my friends think I either make these up or I'm just nuts. Hopefully, people who've had experiences like mine will understand. Thanks for listening. This takes place a few days ago. I'd been out about all day, gathering things I needed for an upcoming birthday party. I was at my last stop for the day, which was Walmart. I headed in no later than 3 p.m. I headed straight to the toy aisle and picked up whatever pink pony thing my daughter wanted and then began back up to the register. I checked out without issue and was soon on my way out. As I was heading out though, I ran into a friend from my neighborhood. It was actually perfect timing, seeing as she wasn't sure what to get my daughter. I told her that I wasn't in much of a hurry and so we decided to walk to the aisle together and pick something out. With my help, we decided on a play set that went with the pony I'd gotten her. The whole encounter was no more than 20 minutes. She was checking out later and I decided to head out as she was. When I stepped outside though, it was pitch black aside from the street lights in the parking lot. The sun was gone and the moon had taken its place. I was completely dumbfounded. When I looked at the phone, it read midnight. When I pieced together everything that had happened, I couldn't piece together where the time would have went. When I told my friend that I was leaving, it couldn't have been any later than 4pm, and even that's pushing it. If it was, then where did the 8 hours in between go? The day after, I tried to shake it all off as my mind going into autopilot or something, but what would I have done for that long? Let me remind you that to me, it was completely seamless. I called up the friend I'd seen there and asked if she'd seen me do anything weird or even saw me on her way out, which she answered no to both. I'm still trying to wrap my head around the whole thing and any input is appreciated. This happened to me the other day while I was walking my dog. It's been extremely cold here lately, so when he started whining at 2 in the morning, I was less than excited. However, I also didn't want to clean up poop the following morning. I gave into his cries, threw on mine and his coat, and then headed outside. Lucky for me, he peed pretty quickly, but I had that feeling something else was building inside his belly. I went all through the yard with him, but nothing was happening. Finally, after about 5 minutes, I gave up and went to go inside. When I grabbed the handle though, I froze. I couldn't move. I was stuck there, staring at my reflection, totally conscious and frozen. My dog must have been frozen too because he seemed to have the same problem I was. He would have whined like crazy if he didn't. I myself tried to scream but it was all futile. Eventually, I gave in. I told myself that this was all a bad dream and that I needed to wake up. I repeated that into my head until I started believing it. It didn't matter that my fingers had gone numb, what mattered was that this was a dream. But here's the scary part, and the reason I've decided to share this here. It wasn't a dream. I broke from the spell two hours later after standing there completely frozen. I quickly made my way inside, and my furry friend and I focused on getting warm. So now you see why I'm posting. I stood outside for two hours, unable to move for no apparent reason, and was aware the whole time. There had to have been some type of glitch in the system. I think my mom has been replaced. 
Now, believe me when I say that even I find it hard to believe, but here recently, things have been happening that make me believe my own theory. Before I begin, it's vital to know that my parents are divorced. My mom won custody over me when the judge saw that my dad had missed a few too many Alcohol Anonymous meetings, and that happened years ago, and I rarely speak to my dad anymore. All that aside, I'll explain the events leading up to the switch. It began around a month ago when my mom started experiencing bits of deja vu. We would be talking and joking around when all of a sudden she would pull a blank or confused face. When I asked her what was going on, she would explain that she was having a feeling of familiarity, like what she was experiencing had happened before. At first, it was kind of spooky, even interesting, but then... It began happening two to three times a day. From there, we get into the next bit of strange events. The repeats. And that's what I call them anyway. My mom would walk into a room, say or do something, and then do it all over again. Now, some could have written this off as her thinking I didn't hear her and then repeating it, but one incident in particular really has me shook. We were getting the table ready to eat, and while I was finishing up the food, she grabbed two plates from the cabinet. That was all we needed. So, when I saw her put those down, freeze for a second, and then get two more, I was confused. I asked her what she was doing, but it was like I wasn't there. She would pick up two plates, set them down, freeze, and then do it again. She continued doing it until there were no more plates in the cabinet. That was when she broke from her spell and said, Where are all the plates? I won't write out the rest, but just know that we were both very confused. Actually, I was scared. There are other instances, but I don't want to drag this out. Other than those two things, the only other unsettling thing she does now is this really weird, huge smile she has sometimes. It looks as if it was plastered on rather than being organic. Anyway, I've talked about all this, but I need to explain why I think she's been switched. As I said, all this began a month ago. The problem there is that my mom passed away a month ago. I was on the phone with her while she was driving home from work one night when I heard her drop her phone and then the sound of metal on metal. The phone cut out soon after. I was absolutely distraught. My dad was a drunk and now my mom was dead but my crying stopped when I heard my cell start ringing. It was my mom. When I answered, she apologized, saying that she must have had a weak connection. Once she got home that night, the strange things began happening. My mom died that night, and for whatever reason, whoever is running this shit decided that it wasn't time. Well, if you're reading this, just know that I've picked up on your tricks. That thing living with me is not my mom.